Okay, for a really, really quick breakfast, we're gonna put together a fruit parfait. You don't have to have a fancy glass for this, but I took some Greek yogurt, sweetened it, and put a little bit of vanilla in it, but you don't have to do that. You can get regular yogurt. It's already sweetened. And I sliced up a few grapes. So I'm gonna make it really cute. But you can use any fruit. Put another layer of yogurt. some strawberries. I, I chopped these up. All fruit is fresh. You could probably get by with frozen, but I would kind of use the fresh and that's about it. You can also sprinkle on some granola. That would be great. Sausage breakfast muffins. It's gonna be four ingredients. It's gonna be really, really quick and fast. Um, I would try to do it the night before. Take one pound of breakfast sausage, go ahead and cook that loose and drain it. Add four eggs, slightly beaten. We're gonna go ahead and add a cup of Bisquick. going to add a cup of cheddar. Skinny banana cookies. Take two ripe bananas and mash them in a bowl. And while you're doing that, you need to make sure that you have a lined cookie sheet and a 350 degree oven. Okay. To the cup of dry oatmeal, a quarter of a cup of semi sweet chocolate chips, lightly spray it just a little in the oven 350 for 12 to 15 minutes. Our 
our next little quick breakfast is breakfast burritos. And I typically throw some sort of breakfast meat in there. And my breakfast meat today is going to be bacon. Um, this is four eggs, slightly beaten. I'll go ahead and sprinkle my bacon bits on there. Okay, so scrambled eggs with bacon bits are finished. And that's basically all you need as a base for breakfast burritos. And you can put anything you want to on them. This is for my youngest son, and he's very picky. So I can't put too much on here. Sour cream on. That's kind of like my glue. And then I sprinkle the cheese. And that's about all he wants. And then I just fill it up. Now these can be packed up and, uh, I'm sorry, these can be wrapped up and saved. Some people even freeze them. I've never done that, so I can't speak from experience on that. But um, I just roll them up. And it's literally a really quick breakfast. It only takes five to seven minutes to make the eggs. And usually the meat I already have had done before. This was um, real bacon bits or real bacon pieces, so it didn't take long. Okay, that's it.